What's up, this your boy JG, back with another video on Music Tips and Reviews with JG. Uh, I had to come back with another video today. Uh, I heard about the news about 21 Savage and Nas, you know, how 21 Savage, uh, he said that, uh, <laughs> he basically said that Nas is irrelevant, uh, that he's not relevant these days. Uh, I'm just, you know... I'm kind of tired of people saying that people music is irrelevant. I, I just get tired of that because everybody has their own preference on, you know, you know what type of music they like. You know, some people like conscious rap. Some people like trap. Uh, you know, people have their own preference on what kind of music they like. You know, you don't, <laughs> you don't say that golf Brooks is irrelevant, <laughs> you know, you don't say that you, uh, you know, the country music sounds the same for generations and generations. It seems like, you know, black music is the only one that becomes irrelevant. And, uh, we just gotta, we just gotta treat each other better, you know, not say that, you know, just because, you know, Nas is an older rapper and he's been out for a while, you know, don't mean that, uh, you know, he's irrelevant. You know, people still listen to him. I listen to him still, you know. I didn't uh, listen to Nas when he first came out in 94, but he's he's still relevant, you know. He still sell records. People still follow him. He still has a fan base. So he's, you know, it doesn't matter how much you sell, you know, it's just how many people that follows you. You know, of course, sales is different these, day, these days. Uh, as far as record sales, but, you know, you shouldn't say that, you know, a rapper is irrelevant, you know, 21 Savage, he just came out, man, he's, he's hot right now, but what if somebody later on says he's, you know, not relevant <laughs> later on, so, you know, it just, we gotta think about what we say, you know, as far as artists, about other artists, we gotta respect, you know, who paved the way, uh, I understand what he's saying in a in a sense. He's saying that, you know, he's not his sound is not like uh today's sound, like he's irrelevant as far as the trap and all that stuff. The way rapper's cadence is now, he's not relevant. But Nas just always been Nas. He always had that that style. Um uh, he always had that mature uh content in his lyric lyricism. And so, you know, it just you got you just gotta respect. You just can't call, you know, legends <laughs> irrelevant like that. You can't you can't just throw it out like that. So, you know, I'm just, you know, <laughs> kind of kind of frustrated that, you know, we always call our artists um not relevant, you know, and other ethnicities they don't call their veteran artists irrelevant, you know. You went there call like Shania Twain or uh Reba McIntyre or you know, all these country country artists, all these rock artists, you went call Kid Rock and all them irrelevant, you know. That's just not <laughs> what they say. And we the only ones that call each other irrelevant. So, you know, and that and that's kinda of discouraging to producers as well, uh, that appreciate, you know, different sounds, appreciate different types of uh genres of music. Uh they want to be versatile. So, you know, I, I feel it's 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 bad that we call each other irrelevant, you know, and there's people that love our music uh individually. So uh that's that's my opinion on this uh twenty one Savage and um Nas situation. So uh this been another video I had to put this up. Uh, this has been another video for your boy JG. All right, peace.